Hello guys and welcome. In today's video, I would like to talk about different locations that I personally find very enjoyable with a lot of benefits when grinding from level 40 to 50. And what I'm going to be doing is talking about the location, why I personally like it and what benefits it gives you. That being good XP gains, mob density, silver gains, uh, material drops, etc, etc. So with that being said, let's get started. The very first location I would like to talk about is here in the Winterborn. The Winterborn are located at Matchwood here at Glaze Forge. And this place I find it to be very good, especially for solo farming. You can do a little bit of uh, AoE farming here, but I would recommend it more for somebody who is doing uh, single target damage, as is, I believe, in my opinion, more efficient or more enjoyable. But AoE farming will always be more efficient than single target farming unless your single target damage is insane and you go super fast, right? Now, this location says that it's for level 45 to 48, but if you saw my how to level fast video, you will know that you have to be within 10 levels uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the ideal level uh, target to maximize your experience gain. So, as an example, if this place says 45 to 48, the mobs being the highest mobs being 48, then you should be level 38 when you start to maximize that experience gain. No matter where you go, that's the best way to approach it. Uh, always try to have that 10 level difference. Now, with that said, the, the, the mob density here is pretty good. I, wish, I will walk around and I'll show you guys what I mean here in a moment. Uh, but why is this location so good in my opinion? Well, the first thing you want to know is that it's a location that you get uh, in Ranger's Company. Uh, as you can see, I have right now a mission in here, which because I am leveling up my low archetypes, I want to put them on 40. So I got this uh, location, right? So that, that's great. I'm going to be grinding here for a bit. But also another great thing about this location is that it gets a lot of really cool drops. So for one of those drops being, for example, Amber Sprite Shards. Amber Sprite, uh, Amber, oh my goodness, I cannot pronounce that. Amber Sprite Shards. <laughs> there we go are currently selling for 27k each so if you get one drop an hour or two drops an hour that is definitely worth it it's not bad at all but the cool thing is that not this is not the only drop that you get and by the way this drop is used for crafting uh stabs I, I believe these stabs correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below so it's definitely a, a item that is in demand making it very attractive um another uh thing that drops here for example i believe would be i don't believe i'm certain because i have gotten them is the sturdy strings that is also another material used for crafting this one is using for this one is used for crafting bows and right now it's selling for 24k so let's say that you get one of each an hour approach maybe you know you're making decent money decent experience not bad at all maybe you get lucky and you get two an hour or even three who, who, who knows apart from that they also get a bunch of trash drops that you can definitely uh you know make a little bit of money out of them which is the arrow feather and a few other things i don't think you guys really care much about that one but yeah anyway let's talk about the place so yeah, i can show you guys the location is actually uh, packed with mobs you can definitely like i said get them all together and do a little bit of AOE if that's the approach you choose to do or you can do single target one by one it gives you options and that's one thing I like about this place so it's definitely worth checking out whichever it is uh, whichever um, build it is that you're using right then normally the normal rotation that I do is I start from the entrance come down then to the left come up right here where uh, on those mobs you saw and then come back down and then to the right again right it's a very simple rotation let me see if i can show you guys why i end up going back down again as you can see there's a lot of mobs along the way they're just dropping me from my <laughs> moa all the time but the rotation is pretty pretty simple and very very nice in my opinion so well with that being said i hope uh, you find the value that i do on this location so now let's move on to the next one the next location is at Somber Shade at Twilight Pass, I guess. I mean, you could call it like that. These are the vampire mob mobs. Now, this location can be actually very, very good if you do it on AOE with a friend. This location is, is 
very good not only because of that but also because you get the phantasmagorical i think it was called let me see uh yeah phantasmagorical cloth that is right now selling for 31k that's actually crazy um it's a rare drop as like the previous ones but again if you do effective leveling here with aoe and so on can definitely be worth it and another well uh, advantage of this location is that it also uh, appears on the com and the rangers company uh, board so you can also take it as a task and well perform and do it right so i'm just going to show you a little bit of what i mean by aoe because this place can also like can really be used for aoe which is crazy to me you can drag so many of these mobs all together with a friend and just put them all like that and then just aoe them down now can i aoe them no because my build is not for aoe and i'm just gonna die here but just for the sake of the video wanted to show you guys this place is very very good you can pull them in like that Put them together with a friend, uh, you know, with a mage, boom, do all the AoE damage, and then move on to the next area, which is right on the other side of town, right here, and do the exactly same thing. You go to the other side, pull them into the entrance, and there is other mobs around there, and boom, you do exactly the same thing, get them all together, boom, and you farm your AoE. It's very, very effective, and with a chance of getting a drop that gives you, nets you so much money definitely a high value place to not only grind experience but also grind silver definitely definitely a top one of my top locations sadly i play mostly by myself <laughs> so i don't get to do something like that often but i'm sure you can all right let's move on to the next one this next location is a place where you're gonna spend a lot of time on and it's very likely you're already aware of it, and if you're not, well, it doesn't matter. That's why I'm here to show you. The next location is here in Gilead Island. In fact, there's two locations we're going to be talking about in here. So let's start with the Saurians. The Saurians can be found right here uh, in Sanchez Plateau, Fernscale Thic uh, Thicket, and Ruins of Gilead. Um, these mobs actually drop you multiple... Uh, <laughs> like, Two different mats that you can get from them and they give you also decent experience they can be a little bit annoying they have a couple of, uh, of abilities that are very annoying but the nice thing is that they're actually a little bit squishy so you don't have to worry too much about uh you know them being very tanky compared to the other option that is the kaimans on the opposite side of the island now these mobs here drop you two different items in, in that you need to be look, looking out for the first one being the metallic core that it doesn't go for uh, uh for a lot of money but it kind of it drops fairly often if if you tell me you know 7k i got a drop of uh two or three um uh, yesterday i believe or four within like two hours let me check real quick um yeah there we go i got uh four of them sold for 9k each 36k not bad and I got them all within one hour. So it was not that crazy. I guess I got very lucky. That's very, very nice. Another drop that they actually uh, do as well is called the... It's the Conin Handle that actually sells for 25k. So it's not bad. It, you're getting two different items that drop that sell pretty decently and both are needed. So it's definitely a prime location and not only that you actually need to farm these guys a lot let me kill them real quick um you gotta farm them a lot because of the you can all you have to uh, to grind them because it's also an activity on the gilead island journal you have to slay them enough to get all the runes you can so far i am missing seven runes out of them so i need to get that done i finished with the comments and i don't want to be there ever again <laughs> i am so tired of this island but it's definitely worth it if you're looking for good experience and money um but what does these runes give you let me show you when you finally reach the 30 runes on the gilead island well it actually starts on the 20 the uh, rune store in Gilead Island unlocks. Uh, it sells you a bunch of really cool runes that give you different stats like intelligence, uh, dexterity, and so on. And these give you plus nine 
per item. But not only that, they also give you some weapons ones that can increase your weapon. Uh, by, for example, this one increases the sword uh, by 15 impact. So it's definitely very nice. There's also another one that gives you 10 attack power. This is for the one-handed weapons. And if you go scroll down for the two-handed weapons, they can give you all the way up to 20 attack power or all the way up to 30, for example, haste or 30 uh, impact and so on. Now, I believe there is a bug at the moment on the store because there is two runes that says impact there are one called fierce greater rune of precision and that says that it increases the impact by 30 and then you have the sharp greater rune of precision uh, sorry the the uh, yeah the sharp greater rune of precision that gives you the exact same thing right it gives you uh, permanently increases impact by 30 i believe that here one of the two should be precision instead of impact because there's basically two runes given us six. <laughs> I apologize for that. It gives us exactly the same thing. So I'm sure that they will fix it sooner or later, just letting you know. Anyhow, this is why you should be grinding Saurians as much as you can, as well as the next uh, place that we're going to. The next location is right here at the Flooded Maw. This location is for the Kaimans. The Kaimans are a little bit tanky. I still do recommend doing them because, again, it helps you unlock the Iliad Island rune, runes uh, store. And they give you decent experience. But not only that, they also drop pretty decent mats. They actually drop you the Kaiman scales that are used as well for, for some uh, crafting. So let me just show you real quick how those a fight kind of looks like. But as you can see there, definitely... More tankier than the Saurians. Oh, another one just spawned in. I'm just going to move away so we can continue talking and I can show you exactly what I meant. The Kaimans drop a material called Kaiman Scales, I believe it was called. Yes, and they sell for a whopping 20k, so it's not bad. And that, like I said, it, it, it's a major, you know, positive to not only get materials, you also got decent XP and not and you get to complete your journal. So these locations are they're not many. It's not many. Just mention four of them. Uh, you know, one, two, three, and four. These are my four locations as somebody who mainly does single target. But the vampire is a fantastic AOE target. Now, uh, with that said, though, there's a few other locations that also give you decent money. For example, uh, the Snow Deep uh, Mines is definitely a great location because it also drops uh, um, uh, from the Dwarves another T4 uh, mat as well. So this is just the honorable mention that we can say that. Another good location, sadly, this one doesn't really drop you a lot of stuff, but the Dark Hollow Ruins with the, with the Yetis because you also got to do that for the journal on Glitch Forge, and then you got the pirates over here on to the north that is a great location as well sorry it's right here this place right here it has it's packed with pirates great location too because it drops you the ambrosia and we know that the ambrosia sells for quite a lot actually uh, let's check the price on the ambrosia ambrosia there we go it sells right now for 130k so again is really 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 good and lastly the abandoned mines is another great location uh, because there is not only a lot of really high level mobs but you also get the mines that you can mine and make the money but like i said this is if you come here you gotta be you know pretty high level at this point uh, so that's why i didn't mention it uh, the other ones you should be able to start at level 38 39 if you come here to Gilead you gotta be at least level 41 effective to be able to deal with them properly uh, but they're gonna get you to level 15 in no time and in the way they will also give you silver this video is more inclined towards the silver side than the experience side but I really hope that you that it was helpful I really hope that this gives you a better idea of how to make money in the game and what's the name and where you want to grind next um yeah, with that being said, I am Toto Torres. It's been a pleasure talking with you, and I hope it was helpful. And if you have any comments, feedback, or anything, please feel free to leave it on the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.